Nightly news begins right now. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News. Reporting tonight, Lester Holt. Good evening. We're watching a flood emergency happening in the south, this time Louisiana. After weeks of torrential rainfall, a major river is now threatening neighborhoods. Homeowners stacking sandbags to protect their homes. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez has the images coming in. In northwest Louisiana, hundreds of homes are underwater as weeks of heavy rain in neighboring Oklahoma and Texas have swollen the Red River. The river has crested. All we can do is prepare ourselves for it. Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff says river levels may stay high for the next several weeks. I can feel the pressure building on my legs and I'm pushing through here. This is a lot of water, you guys. The worst flooding this area has seen in decades. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News. Dave, I can hear the pumps going behind you right now, but what you yeah. showed us this morning is sandbagging actually works. It is amazing. It's an amazing feat of engineering. You can hear the roar of these generators behind me, not only running the pumps, but also running the electricity inside the house. You can see what they did. They built this sandbag barrier here. It's sandbags, then plastic, then more sandbags on top. Look at all the water here, and look at how much dryness there is on the other side. You've got a dry garage there for the most part, and people are still living in these homes. That's Tom down there with the boat. Tom is the owner of the home. He stayed in here overnight with volunteers, people he didn't even know. There were six people inside the home. So Tom, tell, tell me, you, you think, even though this is working, you think you, if you had more of a heads up, you could have, you could have saved known, more water? If I had known it was going to 37 feet, I would have built it higher sooner. We were preparing for 28, 30 feet. Uh, and every you, day they up the, the announcement. I mean, I know they don't control it, but when you, well, when you build it in segments, it's not as strong. Well, for right now, Tom is holding back the water from this neighborhood and from his yard. I'm going to take you over here. Rodney, you, you don't have to necessarily follow me all the way over here, but I just want to show as we're going back to the studio how deep this water is. Maybe if we walked over here, we could see that because as I walked over to this yard, I started going down further and further and further. So if you see how far I've gone down in the water and I can go up to chest deep and I can feel the water pressure pushing in on me, think about the pressure that is pushing against these barricades. All it would take, look how deep I am now, all it would take is one of these sandbags to go and that would cause a cascade effect of all of this just collapsing. Then the water would go into the homes. Then you've got an electricity nightmare because you've got electricity running from the generators. Those would short out after a while and stall out. But still, you've got a moment of electricity. You've also got the, uh, the batteries on there. But this is a dire situation for 200 homes as I go deeper and deeper in here. Very, very scary for the folks here in northern Louisiana. This will not go down for weeks, if not months. You guys, the kids could be back in school before this is completely cleaned up here, before the water goes away and the debris underneath. Dave, an incredible job of showing the dramatic situation for hundreds of homes. Let me just ask you one more thing, Dave. The, we know that's not just regular river yes, water, sir. but what's that predominant kind of heavy smell that you've got in the area? Is it more oil? Is it more sewage? Is it more chemical? What do you, what do you smell around you more? Back here, it's not that bad. Um, where we were yesterday, and look, look, you can see a little bit of algae and nastiness coming up here. But uh, where we were yesterday with the sheriff's house, that stunk, and, and it was a very deep, heavy chemical smell. So you don't know if that's coming from the petroleum industry around here, or if it's coming from a leak from a vehicle or something, but we had a very deep, heavy, astringent uh, chemical smell that we were dealing with there. Now it's not that bad, but inside the homes, I bet you it's moldy and damp and dank, and, and it's a nasty place to be, but they're having friends, family, strangers over to help with this effort to keep this neighborhood from going underwater like so many have here in northern Louisiana.
Dave Malkoff, a stellar job of the nightmare flooding that's going on in Louisiana right now and how it's moment by moment still holding your breath to see if the sandbags will hold before that water recedes. Thunderstorms, a threat for a good...